Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Meek Meek, and I am coming at you today with a film. Um, today I'm actually doing quite a few, so if you see me with this same shirt on, a little bougie, whatever. Um, my sister bought me this, my older sister bought me this shirt for uh, Christmas. Anyway, um, so I wanted to come and give you sort of an updated routine. Um, actually, hello, happy new year. Christmas, all that good stuff because I have not made a film since 2016. We are now January 21st, 2017. It is actually the day after the inauguration of our now president. I can't even say it. I'm going to refresh my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Water. I'm going to be priming today using um, two primers actually. Um, I'm going to be using step one from my Makeup Forever uh, Base Hydration Primer. And, um, and I'm going to basically use that everywhere here, 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 here. But in some areas here for some reason, in my nose area and in here, I've been feeling a little oily and my skin is very dry. But just here. Uh, I'm going to go just a little oily. So I'm going to use this um, Tip 2 uh, Base Smooth and Matte Primer. And this came in my um, Ipsy Glam bag for January 2017. So let me do my hydration primer first. So I'm going to go in with my go-to um, Anastasia Dip Brows to my brows. Told him not to grab it. At least I should have kept my safety up. Cause if I can't make you see, I would surely okay, so make it's clean you under my eyebrows. Um, a little bit. I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour cream kit, and this is in the um, deep shades. I'm taking this color right here, and this is called cinnamon. to color correct today and um, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette again um, in deep and I'm going to go into coral okay so in coral I'm going to pat coral on these dark spots and it's just a couple of them it's not a lot I don't do too much color correcting because um, most of the spots on my face are what they call aging moles. So, that is from a spider bite. It's actually a mole right there. A little darkness around my mouth. Okay. I'm going to take my Beauty Sponge um, by Real Techniques and I'm going to just buff it out. It's showing up more as a scar from when I, I'm just going to take my finger and do it. Okay, so 
So now that that's done, I'm going to actually go in with my um my favorite foundation ever, and that's going to be the Mac Studio Fix um in NC50. This is the Morphe M439 brush. And I'm going to just got the foundation. And then I'm just going to buff it in. What you don't want to happen is you buff too much or you move the product around so that um, you don't want K face, but you don't want to move the product around that you laid down before, which is going to be the um, the color correcting. Um, cream color correcting concealer basically so since I don't want that to move around too much I'm trying to be very gentle and I forgot to color correct this little spot right here but that's okay we'll just do a little buff right there and I'll just take just a little bit Oh man, come on. A little bit of foundation. Studio Skin 24 Hour Contour Waterproof Concealer. Um, and I got medium dark. And I am going to use that to highlight. Now, for those of you who know me, you know I don't highlight my nose. Um. I do bring it I did start bringing it up a little bit I just don't highlight my nose so I'm going to bottom of the beauty blender The next thing I like to do is um, I actually, even though my skin is very dry, I have very dry skin, I've been working on that um, a lot, and I will go through some things in my next couple videos to show you, um, I'm going to set my foundation, which works for, I'm not my foundation, my concealer, I'm going to be setting my concealer with the MAC Studio, um, I'm sorry, the MAC Mineralized Foundation uh, Loose Powder in Dark. The reason why I said it with this is because the banana powder and some of the other powders are just a little too yellow and I don't like the way it sits on my skin. But this right here is just, oh my god, it's bomb. And I have no issues with um, this thing on my skin um, setting my uh, highlight without, and it doesn't do a whole bunch of creasing and whatever else the case may be. Now I went a little ham with the powder, but that's okay because I'm going to use um when I do my eyes, you'll see. But don't use that much powder. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to I don't really contour contour. I um literally just 
bronze my face with the um, Guerlain Terracotta in 09 Intense. Um, and I just bronze my face with that. So I'm going to be taking this um, Real Techniques uh, contour brush and we're just going to bronze the skin. And as you can see, it looks really, it looks good to me, just to, you know, add a little bit of color back into my skin. I like just doing this versus an actual contour. So, for right now, who knows, it might change up a little later, but for right now, this is what I like to do. I don't do too much contour. Bring some color back into that jawline, girl. Then I'm gonna be taking my Taraji um, P um, and this is the blush and um I do not know the real color, unfortunately, because I was one of the ones who got the wrong color. Um, the wrong things. Is, this one says Highlight like the Tree, but I believe it's called Taraji Glow. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that. You don't need a lot. Before I do anything else, I'm going to move on to my eyes real quick. And um, believe it or not, I've had this palette for a long time. This is the Master Palette by Mario um, via Anastasia Beverly Hills. And, um, yeah. I bought it because, of course, I just wanted it in my collection. Because what girl doesn't like to just collect palettes, just be collecting them. So, today, we're going to be using this beautiful palette. And we're not going to do too much on the eyes, we're just going to kind of wing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color called Isabel. My head is on fire itching. Oh my God. And it's because I'm trying to do something. Woo. And I'm just literally just using this to as a... Um, Sort of like a, this is like my mid shade. And this is the Juvia's Place J115 Blender Brush. Gangsta, gangsta, at the same time, you just had to be the man. So now I'm going to go in with this shade, um, Violetta. And I'm going to put Violetta right in my crease using the same brush. So for my lid color, I think I'm going to go in with this color, Kim. I'm going to attempt to line my eyes using this Ciate or Cita London Fierce Flicks. I got this in one of my Ipsy Glam bags. Um, this is a, um, what do you call this? A black liner, that belt tip white liner. So another one of the things that I got out of my one of my MC Glam bags um, is Mash Lad Black Mascara um, by The Bomb. 
and um, this came in a previous Etsy glam bag also. Oh, there we go. And I like the way it. Oh my gosh. It, it, look at that. Oh. I just know I can't use this on my um, bottom lashes because I will mess something up. So, of course, you guys know whatever you do on the top, you need to do on the bottom. So, I'm going to be going in. Um, with uh, the Isabel and Violetta colors again on the bottom. Using my um, MAC Studio Sculpt Super Lash black mascara on the bottom because it has like that comb like look and it's easy for me to control it better so for lashes today I'm going to be trying out these new Vegas Nay lashes um, Same time, you just had to be the man. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Had to go up last. If you really knew me, you'd be running, running, running away. But you can't resist my flash, babe. What a lying obsession. I'll be no man to protect you. But we were toxic for each other. Once you got a hold of me, you became your own worst enemy. The kind you need to run away, run away from. What if we really try? Thank you. 